Stop recording video button. Hi everybody, so today I'm gonna to be doing a video on how I organize medication. And the reason you are seeing, you're not seeing me, is because I have things that I'm gonna be showing you guys that I use and things like that. So, I don't take medication unless it's like as needed. I don't take medication. So, I don't have like medication that I have to take every day for a certain reason, just as needed. So, um, okay. So I have an EpiPen in case I get bit by a bee. I'm allergic to bees. So I have an EpiPen with me at all times. Not so much now because the bees aren't out this time of year, but I always have an EpiPen with me. And a Benadryl. Now, because I was told a long time ago when I was in school, in public school, by the nurse that I'm supposed to take Benadryl first and then, because it kind of like a, as a, like a preventative measure, and then if I have any other symptoms of a reaction like belly pains or feeling flushed or anything like that, or maybe my throat closing up, you know, any other signs of a reaction than to use the EpiPen. But after I get stung, I would take the Benadryl first and then the EpiPen if necessary. So I wouldn't necessarily take it unless I was showing other signs of a reaction, if that makes sense. So yeah, luckily I don't really, I haven't really got stung by a bee in a while, which is good. So I'm going to be showing you guys, let's see, um, I wonder if I could, I can't switch cameras. So I'm going to be showing you guys my medication. Um, so I take medication like, for example, the EpiPen. Um, I would have to, because you cannot use an EpiPen if it is expired. You cannot use any medication if it is expired. So I would ask someone to look at the date. And, you know, I would ask somebody to read me the date because I can't read it. And, you know, I would just keep that in mind. And then I would, you know, I organize all my medicines, maybe my medicine cabinet. So right now I have an inhaler because I don't, I'm not, I don't have asthma, but I am allergic to dogs and I get to the point where I start like wheezing, having trouble breathing if I'm around dogs, especially because we live with a dog that I'm allergic to. So I have an inhaler and I would ask someone to look at the date on it and if I you know if it goes bad I'll get a refill because you know you cannot use an inhaler if it goes bad because it's poisonous then and it could kill you so yeah and then other medicines now I don't really take anything else I mean everything else is really just as needed so like if I have a headache obviously take a pain reliever or something or if I have allergies I'll take allergy medicine so yeah but everything else is really just as needed I know this is kind of like boring because you're probably thinking oh like she's gonna show us how she organized all her medications and all that but pills I'll get to in a second so allergy medicine is as needed I don't know if you need to organize that um I have acne medicine I don't have acne like it's like under control now because as you get older it's like more under control but I don't take it anymore, but I used to. I used to take two creams. I used to take a vitamin, an oral antibiotic, and the doctor wanted me to wean off of it. So what I would do is I would just, you know, take it every third day. She wanted me to take it like every third day just to kind of, you know, just taper down on the dose, if that makes sense. And the vitamin I would take twice a day. I don't take this anymore. And then I had two creams. One I would put on at night and one I would put on during the day. But that got to be too much because it made my skin really dry and red so that got to be so we put a stop to that so the way I knew the difference between the, the night medicine and the day medicine was one was in a tube and one was in a jar that you screw the lid off so yeah but anyway um, as far as the pills go I have here a pill organizer and this is a it's a print and braille and it has like the this is a single dose one you know, you can get them for like th two, three, four, 
doses, but this is just a single, single one. So it has like seven days of the week. So Sunday to Saturday it has, and then it says in braille and print. The the um the day like the letter for each day of the week. So an S for Sunday and M for Monday, so on. And then so it's in braille and print. So this has actually come in handy for me to organize my pills. And I actually, the way I heard about this was, well, I know, I know what these are. Obviously I have for a long time, but I went to camp. I went to Drew, it was called. And it was a, it was a college prep program. Maybe I'll talk about that too. That's another video idea. But, um, we learned different things. We had a, an ADL class, which is basically adaptive daily living skills. So one day we did a lesson on organizing medication and the teacher, now we, she could not bring in real pills. You know, she could like lose her job for that. So she couldn't bring in real pills. So she brought in, um, empty pill bottles and I guess she like took the labels off so that she, we didn't. Like they didn't think she had real pills and she put candy in them so we had good and plenty's um, like those are like those licorice Mike and Ike's sprees and there was one more and I forget what the other one was but uh, sweethearts I think yeah I think so I don't quote me on it though but I don't remember but we actually because since she couldn't bring us in real pills she brought in happy they, we called them happy pills <laughs> So yeah, I forget what the third candy was. So might have been M&Ms. I'm not, I'm not sure though. Don't quote me on that. But anyway, yeah. But it was definitely good and plenties and sprees for sure. But I, I said I don't remember the other ones. So anyway, um, she also brought in a pill organizer. And what she did was she had us take the, like say for example, you have to take like three pills every day, like once a day. This pill organizer that I'm showing that I'm holding right now would be perfect for that because you you know at the beginning of the week you would fill it up with your pills so that we are not taking opening up like three different bottles of pills and yeah so and then you just go into the pill thing and then you, there you go you have all your three pills so that's what she had us do an activity where we took the you know we there were three different kinds of candy so we had to fill a pill organizer with the candy. I think she had like a four dose one. So we had to fill it like with four, like four times, like for each day with the three different kinds of candy. So that way, you know, it's easier than just opening three different bottles. So then, you know, I was telling her about how my acne medicine, how I was weaning off of it. And when you go to these camps, you have to keep your medicine with a nurse because you're a minor you know, you have to because they're responsible for you. So I would go to the nurse every third day. But once I was home, um, you know, I started using this thing and it helped a lot because, like I said, I was, I had to wean off of it. I had to take one every third day because, like, the doctor wanted me to wean off of it. So what I did was... I, 2011 teenage mom just uploaded a video. Life update vertical line breastfeeding. Moving. New car. Attachment. So what I did was I would use this pill organizer and I would fill it up. I would put, you know, so every the, every day of the week, every all seven boxes. One face, zero faces. All seven boxes would have a pill in them. And it was one pill, just like I, I took it every third day, so it helped. So for example, okay, so I'm gonna show you guys this. Okay, so say I took it on a Monday. So what I would do is, yeah, so you can always count, you know, the third day is Thursday, but what I would do is like say I forgot like I remember okay I took one on Monday and then I would be like okay so what would be the third day so I would count like okay so I would be like the third day would be so if you start at Monday and then you count Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday so Thursday is the third day I would be taking the pill so this is where the pill organizer came in handy because you know what if I forget because I'm not just sitting there thinking oh okay when was the last time I took this medicine when do I gotta take it again so you just count three days so basically it was just remembering like what day I took it and that was and that was easy because I do have 
I do have a good memory, so it was very easy for me to to memorize that and to keep track of that. Like the thing is, I wouldn't even need this thing. I could just remember like, okay, every third day. And if I forgot, like I can't, the nurse would remind me. But I usually, like before I had this thing, I would just remember like, okay, this is the third day. So like if I took it on a Monday, I know I have to take it again on Thursday. And then we got it to every fourth day and once a week. So we basically just started like tapering down on the dose until I was done completely. So that we didn't mess up my body or anything like that because you know with certain medications you can't stop cold turkey you have to wean off of it so yeah that was what we did so basically with this pill thing it's funny because my this teacher said I should get a single one so I told her about the medication I was taking at the time and she said that you know she had because she had an older one she would give it to me and she didn't have an older one so what she did was she bought it and I paid her back for it and it was funny because and I still remember this story to this day but it was a dollar 39 and I had a ten dollar bill and she wanted me to pay her back obviously you know it was she bought it for me you know she was just lending me the money and she just went out and bought it so it was a dollar 39 and I had a ten dollar bill so I said well do you have change of a ten dollar bill and she said yes and she said how much change would I be giving back to you so she wanted me to do the math and to figure it out so I figured out it, that she would be giving me back eight dollars and sixty one cents <laughs> so yeah so I still remember that story to this day but also another way this pill thing came in handy was when I used to go for allergy shots I don't anymore I don't believe they work but that's another topic but you used to have to have cluster shots where I would go once a week for seven weeks and every half hour they would give me a shot and I would stay for three and a half hours three hours or three and a half hours something like that and every half hour they would check my vitals I would have to blow the, on this puffer thing and they would give me a shot and there were three different medicines that I had to take before the shot and what my mom did was she said, well, do you have any way of organizing these, these pills so you know what's what? So what I did was I gave her the pill organizer and in each box, she put the three pills that I needed to take because she got them ahead of time. So we put them in, in here for each day of the week and because I wasn't taking it every day, it was just like, so because it was for seven weeks and conveniently enough, <laughs> this thing has seven boxes for seven days of the week. So, yeah, so she organized all the pills and she put one, she put three in each box. So, you know, one, I would open one box each week and then after the seven boxes were done and I took all the pills in here, then that was when the seven days or the seven weeks were done with the shots. So, yeah, that was another way I used it and also... I take um, multivitamins and you know yes I could just I have them separate from my mom's because she and I take different vitamins so I have them separate from hers so that way I don't mix them up I mean if I took hers and she took mine no it's not gonna kill us but I would prefer to take the right vitamins you know um, or one time I was actually taking because they have different multivitamins for men than they do for women because men don't need iron apparently so I was taking men's vitamins by mistake. My mom saw like the empty jar and she's like, oh, you were taking men's vitamins or, and I was like, oh, it was a mistake. And she's like, oh, why are there men's vitamins out here? And I told her I did it by mistake, but it didn't kill me, you know? She's like, oh, women don't need iron and that's <laughs> different vitamins. So it didn't kill me or anything, but you know, I would, I would just prefer to take the right vitamins for my age and for, you know, take women's vitamins. So these have vitamin D3 in them and they're for my appropriate for my age. So what I do is, you know, I keep the bottle in the medicine cabinet. So what I do each week is I fill up the pill bottle every every like Sunday because that's when I started filling it up. So I fill up the pill bottle every Sunday and I put a vitamin in each box. 
and then I put the vitamins back in the medicine cabinet. So that way, it's just easier. So I don't have to go in and get the bottle. I mean, I could, but it's just easier to just open this pill box, get my vitamin out, and then I'm done. And then I took it for the day. What I usually do is, I mean, it doesn't really matter because I don't have to take like a certain amount of pills each day, but I will take, like I'll just go to the day of the week. So tomorrow's Monday, so I'll just go to Monday instead of just opening up the first box, which would be Sunday when I refill this thing. But, because I just took the last one today. But um, yeah, so it's basically, you know, I just go to each day of the week. It just makes it easier. And it just helps keep my pills organized. So, yeah. But anyway, um, that's basically how I do it. I'm going to show you guys how I fill this up. Um, so I'm going to have to put my phone down for a second. Um, let's see, how could I do this? Because I have it facing the back camera. So I'm going to have my phone standing up against a... One, zero faces. One face. Large face. Face near top left edge. I have my phone standing up against Zero faces. A, one face. Large face. Face near top left edge. My vanity table. So I'm going to show you guys how I fill this up. So... One, zero faces. What I do is I open... One face. Zero faces. I open all four... All these boxes. Okay. So they're all open. So now... You put your pills in here. One face, large face, face near bottom left edge. So I put my... One face. So what I do... One face, zero faces. So I open it up. This is a child lock. So, so I take a pill out and I just put it in each thing. One face, zero faces. So so I put one in each, 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 each box. So one, and then I close it so I know which one is full. And then if I needed to take any other medications, I would just put them in here too. Because, you know, more than one pill can fit in here. So I'm just filling this up right now. And I got one more to fill. And then I gotta put the top back on this. So. Okay, so this thing is all full. One, zero, fa one, zero faces. Okay, so there we go. Put the top back on this so I don't drop any of these vitamins. Okay. Alright, so I figured that would be fun for you guys to see me filling that up. But basically, another thing that the pill organizer is good for is for when I go away. Because I can just take this and then I have my vitamins. Um, I actually remember when I had this, I had my acne medicine in here and I had to stay with my family for a week. So what I did was I just... I mean, I brought the bottle of pills just in case I were to run out while I was there, because I'm I am a just in case kind of person. So I brought the um the the bottle of pills with me just in case I needed to refill it when I was there. I don't think I had to, but I don't remember. So <laughs> yeah. But anyway, um, it was it was nice because I just you know this thing just fit in my travel bag because it's small. You know, you guys can see it's small. It'll fit this thing was able to fit in my travel bag and I took it with me and you know I just counted the days and I took my medicine at my family at my grandpa's house because I stayed with him for a week I took you know I just took my medicine with me and I was able to you know I had a little he had little cups of water just took it I took it at his house so it was very it was very convenient for me to do that I just took it at his house and it was very convenient because all I had to do was bring the pill bottle with me and extra pills but they just stayed in my suitcase just, just in case I need to refill them because it's better to have and not need than to need and not have but 
if I didn't have it, like if I missed a dose, I mean, it wouldn't be like the worst thing in the world because it's not like I was sick or something. So it's not like the worst thing in the world, but you know, I'm a just in case kind of person. So I will always like, I will always take it, like just have the extra pills with me just in case because you never know. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. Because if it was any kind of like necessary medication, then I would be screwed if my pill bottle was empty. So, yeah. But anyways, that's it for this video. I know this video is going to be kind of long, and I do apologize for that. But uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't know when this is going to go up. Probably sometime this week. Today is February the fifth, so it's Sunday the fifth. I don't know what day this is going to go up, but just so you guys know the date and all that. So anyway, I'm going to go and be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below if you have any further questions. Definitely let me know. I will be more than happy to answer them. And if I get enough, maybe I'll do a separate video. I don't know, but we'll see. But anyway, I'm going to go and I'll see you guys in my next video. All right. Bye guys.